Morning guys, I'm just up and I'm sitting at my desk. It's just gone nine and I just wanted to import today's footage. Wow, I look like a hot mess. Look at this thing, it's like turning into like a life form now. My car is working, so I'm gonna go to Tesco's today and finally make that trip to TK Maxx. I'm having a serious issue and I know I've mentioned it before about my main channel, so my beauty channel, not this channel that you're watching me on, this channel's fine. People aren't seeing my videos, they're not going into people's subscription boxes, people aren't being notified. And my video has not been pushed either by YouTube, so people, like, organically aren't finding my videos, if that makes any sense. So, I'm getting, like, between, we'll say... 50 and 100 new subscribers on that channel a day where I used to get a thousand this time last year and I've contacted YouTube support and they can't figure out what's wrong with my channel and I thought maybe it was just my content I was like oh people just aren't interested in me anymore they just don't want to watch me anymore and that's that's fine that's you know well obviously it's not fine but I have to just come to terms with it but I'm like uploading more on my vlog channel and my vlog channel is getting between like 60 and 100 subscribers a day. And it only has like four and a half thousand like subscribers. It's just weird to me how that's growing so much and my beauty channel is not. And I don't know, maybe it's the content. People are not interested in beauty videos anymore. Maybe they're interested in more lifestyle vlogging style videos. But it's just strange to me how this has all happened since YouTube has announced that, you know, they're no longer monetizing certain videos and people are gonna see like fluctuate fluctuations in their views. And now like my beauty channel's really been affected quite badly by it. It's just worrying to me about my, my beauty channel like what is the future for it I don't know and I'm, I'm kind of worried about it and YouTube aren't giving me any answers probably because they don't know either and it's just strange to me and it's kind of sad because I put my everything into my beauty videos and they're just not getting seen they're not getting promoted they're not getting new subscribers brought in and it's just disheartening is the biggest thing I want to say like it's so disheartening like you've no idea what it's like I'm sure you do if you're a creative person and you maybe you do art or maybe you like you know photography or maybe you like building things or making sculptures or making models or you know it whatever you're into maybe you like making clothes if you're a creative person and you're putting your everything into your art this is my art like this is my creative time and people aren't seeing it or you've built up the level of following and people aren't been alerted to it. I don't know, it's just really disheartening for me because I don't know what to do with my beauty channel now because my vlog channel is flying and I still am always going to upload to my beauty channel, it's my main priority. But it's just, what's happening to it? Like, I don't, I don't understand. It doesn't seem to be happening to many other people's channels or maybe I'm just not, not hearing about it as much. So perhaps it is just my content and people are just not interested in it anymore. So I just thought I would mention that this morning because I've noticed it again yesterday. Look at the little baby. Oh, you're so tired, Arnie. He's absolutely bet into that box, but he cries looking for it. Like, it's just, he can't sleep anywhere else other than the box, eh, Harley? You love that box. That box is life. Yeah. Oh, it is. Oh, don't want any cuddles this morning, no? Let's leave you to sleep then. Look at him. He's breaking out the edges of it. But the box is life. And we don't sleep anywhere else, eh? You're so lazy. So I just put on a tiny bit of makeup. Ooh, and I put like a lip tint on now. It looks a little bit too pink on my mouth. It really doesn't look that pink in real life. Wow, it looked kind of crazy. So I'm going to head into town, going to Tesco's. I need to get those knives. And then I'm going to go to Penny's, I think. I put like a tiny amount of CC cream on, but I don't think anything can cover this thing up. So let's just put my fringe down like that. I am going to go and get some knives in TK Maxx do a little bit of shopping in Tesco's and then I might go to Penny's I shouldn't really be going to Penny's because I said I was on like a spending ban but let's just go to Penny's do you said it's actually the rim that's the issue with the with the car so I'm gonna have to get a new rim and you know you can't just buy one rim you have to buy four because they're not gonna match otherwise and that's just not gonna be it's not gonna be cool so 
that's a bit of a pain in the butt. I know car problems, people don't care about them, and to be honest, I never usually care about them, but <laughs> unless it's affecting me. We start off pretty well like this with veg, and then it just gets worse the more I go down the aisles and the tree. They're on special offer. Yeah, my favorite ones. Okay, and then I'm just topping up with water, and I got Pringles. They're like my biggest thing, and microwave and popcorn oh my god i live for them i don't eat that much sweet things but salty i have to be I actually need to pick up more of this i've gone through my entire one so that's going in there all out of shampoo and conditioner i don't know what ones to get i'm thinking i might go with the pantene it seems to work well for me mm, yeah we'll do that shampoo and conditioner let's go for it and because i'm such a good girlfriend i'm gonna pick up jimmy's favorite ice creams yay Maybe I should get in brunch. No, we'll go with the ice. Would you believe I'm after forgetting a bag? So I've thrown everything into the boot of the car loosely. Oh, I've annoyed myself so much. I forgot the stupid bags to pack all the food into, which is really annoying because then I have to like reverse my car into the driveway and take them out one by one or just bring like bags into the boot. I don't know, first world problems. So I'm gonna go to Penny's now, but I can't stay for very long because I have Jimmy's ice cream in the boot. And I also have fish and stuff in the boot as well. So I don't wanna leave it in too long. It's a really, like, it's not really warm, but it's warm enough. So it's gonna melt. It's real humid. I don't want to leave them there to, you know, melt away and go off. I'm gonna have fish, I think, tonight anyway. I'm just in the underground car park now. I'm gonna go in to Penny's and a little bit of shopping. I'm not gonna buy too much, but I do need new pajamas. All my pajamas have either been shrunk or they're like just not fitting right or the seams are off so I need new PJs and I kind of want to get shorts as well like short PJs because it's really warm at night I don't okay this is probably TMI but I don't actually sleep in pajamas at night I don't sleep I don't wear anything to bed at night especially not in the summertime because it's way too hot but I do want to get some shorts for kind of like lounging around the house obviously Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow Turns to sun rays And on and on We'll go Through the wastelands Through the highways And on and on We'll go Okay, so I'm home finally And drowned as well And like my face is all red Because I'm running in through the house I'm gonna just show you what I picked up in Tesco's. This is only like half a week's shop. I'd say me and Jimmy will probably do like another little shop maybe on Sunday. But as a nutritionist, I know exactly what I need to eat and I can kind of meal plan in my head. If you're not great at that, I'd recommend like literally writing down what you should be having for your meals and doing it that way. That way, when you go shopping, you'll know what to get. I do that sometimes, but rarely. It's just because I know exactly what I should be eating and what I need to buy. So I'll show you what I got. So this is kind of an overview of what I got in my shop and I'll go through kind of what I get. Okay, so me and Jimmy eat an awful lot of peppers. I'll make these tonight for dinner. I probably should have got another six peppers, but I like to kind of have them fresh every day. I know that's really weird. I don't mind going to the shop every day for fresh peppers. They don't really go off in the fridge or anything like that, but I just, I hate frozen veg. There's nothing wrong with frozen veg, but I'm just not keen on it. I'll, we eat an awful amount of peppers. Like, they'll be gone tonight. Broccoli, obviously. Again, we'll have to replenish that on Sunday when we go for our meal shop. I usually would buy two of them, eat an awful lot of broccoli. Berries, like strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, the usual pe um, peppers, what are they called? <laughs> mushrooms, I love mushrooms. Sweet potato, I always get a bag of spinach. I only like baby spinach, I don't like the 
bigger spinach. I just don't like the stalks on it. And salmon. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to have salmon for dinner tonight because I just, I would prefer it actually over stir fry. Tomatoes. I love the baby plum tomatoes. I know there's cherry tomatoes, but I prefer the plum ones. They're just a little bit bigger. I just, I don't know. I prefer them. And I put them in wraps and stuff like that. Bachelor's baked beans because I'm a big beans fan. And then I get uh, the pineapple. Pineapple's very high in sugar. But it is just one of my favourite fruits and it's like more of like a treat fruit for me. Strawberries again are a little bit high in sugar. Your raspberries, blueberries are the most ideal. Then my Nivea double effect makeup remover. Can't live without that. Not really food. Uh, orange juice. I'm, I usually, if I'm making a smoothie, I'll throw orange juice into it. Before, like I was talking about smoothies to somebody. That smoothies are a treat as well. But when you do blitz fruit, you're breaking down the cellular walls. So you're releasing all the sugars. I'll obviously add this just for a little bit of sugar when I'm having like spinach and blueberries and raspberries because there's not that much sugar in it my pringles these are like my favorite treat ever i told you i don't really have a sweet tooth but i definitely have like a savory tooth okay fajita kits i don't necessarily recommend these they're processed like there is an awful lot of salt in the actual packet mixture but when i'm lazy and fajitas are just ideal and they're really really quick and really easy to make as well my mayonnaise obviously not the healthiest choice i like the lighter than light mayonnaise i didn't see it in there but i just picked up regular mayonnaise my pen 10 and then these are the wok noodles so when i'm making stir fry i like noodles sometimes i'll go with rice brown rice or brown pasta i just can't digest it i don't know why i get awful cramps in my stomach i can feel nauseous sometimes i do puke so <laughs> i don't eat that much brown rice because of that reason so i like noodles or basmati rice basmati rice is actually better for you than brown rice anyway and then i love these these are rice cakes so i know the way i love the pringles right okay and these rice cakes are really really good these are the salt and vinegar flavor obviously there is going to be an awful lot of salt in them but you can see from the nutritional value like they're not that bad the salt content i will actually do a video on how to know if something is high or low on salt but so these are kind of high ish per 100 grams but you're not going to eat 100 grams of them so 0.2 gram per rice cake considering the rice cake is 12 grams six grams of salt in the day so they're not that bad for you i i don't eat that many of them but I will probably have like two or three in a day if I'm craving salt. More mushrooms. I've got wraps here. These, this is probably like my main carbohydrate. <laughs> I only like wraps, sweet potato, and then the rice cakes and stuff. I'm not a big bread person at all. Like I just, I'm not, I'm not keen on bread. But I do like these wraps. That they're really convenient and you can kind of do anything with them. And then water. So I have my five liters of water here. And then I also get like these flavoured water. There is a spartium in them, but it's not as bad as like if you're drinking Coke or something like that. So I will opt for this over Coke if I just want something kind of sweet. It just stops me from drinking so much Coke. But generally, Jimmy and I will finish one of these every two days. That's basically all I get in my food shop. And then obviously my Tassimo coffees I spoke about as well and I did get chicken fillets from the butchers we eat an awful lot of chicken here we don't eat much else like chicken and fish is kind of mainly all we would eat steak rare rare occasion and I bought two new glasses as well because I broke my glasses that look similar to this and they were only like 60 cents so couldn't really pass them up so now I'm going to put away all of the shopping. And like I said, this is only like four days worth of food for two people. I have obviously loads of other food in the fridge, but this is just like top up, like replenishing. Oh, and you might have noticed the Jaffa cakes. These are not mine. I absolutely detest Jaffa cakes. Jimmy is addicted to them and he loves them with a cup of tea. They're not my, my favorite. What's wrong with you? What? What's the matter? You're not getting any attention. What's wrong, baby boy? What's the matter? Right. You want love? Since he's gotten a little bit older, he's like so much more lovable and he doesn't attack or fight with me anymore, which I kind of miss. There we go. Our fridge is looking a lot more replenished now. This is full with all the greens. There's loads of greens in this. I didn't need to buy any coconut almond milk because I already have some. This is my favorite, the Alpro one. It's yummy. Gonna go out, Harley? <laughs> no. Why not? It's lovely weather outside. Why not, honey? It's lovely outside. Come on out. No? No? I don't think so. It's vile out there. <laughs> Ew, honey, the weather. Right, so now I'm gonna go and put away all the toiletries and then I'm actually gonna hoover the floor 
and do a little bit of dusting and hoover the sitting room and put away the ironing board that Jimmy constantly leaves out every morning. I was over with my nanny, I got to see her today. I made sure I made the trip to go see her because I haven't seen her in about two weeks and she's kind of poorly on and off, like in and out of hospital and it's just really, really scary. So I always make an effort to try and go and see her and you know, like I love her so much obviously. She's like the cutest little person ever. And uh, she was in good form. So I was delighted to see her and my granddad and I had to go and pick up medication and stuff for them so just to make sure that they're okay. And um, yeah, so I have to make more of an effort to call down to her because I'm just, I'm really bad at it. And you know, you don't know what could happen at any time and you could regret, you know, the days that you don't go and spend with them. So. I'm gonna make more of an effort to do that. So guys, I'm just finishing up the vlog for the night and going for a quick shower. I uploaded my vlog today and I'm gonna show you what I got in pennies tomorrow. And I got a bit of PR today as well, so I'll show you that tomorrow as well. But um, yeah, thanks so much for watching today and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.